This is the installation video for the Frost Saddlebag Kit for use with a Brompton. Uh, I'm going to explain the process of installation uh, to you now. So I've removed the saddle, um, it's facing down in front of me. Uh, we need a size 6 and size 5 hex key. You can use a permanent marker. I've used that to mark on the saddle the angle of the seat and uh, the position on the rails. This needs to be done before you remove the saddle. The parts that come in the kit are the rail, the side clamps and the end caps. And that's the T-handle. So the first step is to remove the outer parts of the Brompton P-clamp. So we're going to remove that bolt that goes all the way through. So we take a size 5 hex key. Just going to remove it and replace that with the frost component now. So the bolt unscrews and then you slide it all the way out. Just be careful to hold everything else in place or just make sure you don't knock it. The Brompton P-clip is full of lots of little parts and the easiest way is to just leave everything as it is. So we're going to unscrew this and insert it. I'll just talk you through different parts. We've got the bolt that goes all the way through. We've got a little washer here, a little brass washer to reduce friction. The parts are much bigger than the Brompton ones, they're much stronger. We use a steel insert in the end instead of threading the aluminium which makes the whole construction a lot stronger. So now we're going to replace the parts. Just removing the bolt. So slide the first open extrusion unthreaded without the insert. Put that on first. A bit fiddly. So now I'm going to slide the bolt through that with the washer attached. <clears throat> and holding it in place still, take the extrusion with the insert and just, just going to finger tight everything together. That's fine. So you can just see the gap here. Uh, above the rail between the extrusion parts just point them out let's focus so that little hole there is designed for the rail to slide into the, the rail can be uh, assembled in the opposite way so with the frost rail at the bottom and the saddle on the top just going to try and push that in here there we are so make sure that it's facing the right way pointing up with the bottom of the spring out coming out of the bottom pointing down okay you see the marks I've made with the marker pen there uh, on the rail for the saddle position so we recommend you do that before you start okay so once we're in this position um, I'm going to put it on the end caps for the rail they just pop on the end now they uh, they're protection for you, but they also help line everything up. So when you slide the rail into the in and underneath the saddle, as soon as those end caps touch the Brompton rail, um, everything's really in the right position. The uh, P-clip can move around quite happily uh, for back and forth for your uh, position, but the rail is now in its in the correct location. You don't push it hard, it touches it and then you stop. And that gives enough clearance uh, between the rail and the saddle back. There's nothing touching there. Uh, that's exactly how it should be set up. So just visually check that's correct as well. If it is touching, just pull it away a bit, but that should be fine. So once everything's lined up like that, you can put it on your sat on on your bike. So that's where you get the angles right, put the saddle in the correct position, and you tighten it up. It's got to be nice and tight, uh, but don't exceed the recommended torque setting for the rail or the P-clip.
but you're good to go. That's all done. Happy riding.